The following slides aim to guide you through the process of developing a search strategy in order to search the databases in a logical and structured way to find exactly what you want. The first thing you need to do is to identify the topic you want to search on. From this, you can then identify the key terms to use in your search. Things you might want to consider are the population of interest. For example, are you looking for studies on children only, adults only, or the very elderly? Are you interested in searching for a particular condition, disease, or presentation? For example, fever, asthma, myocardial infarction, ankle fractures. Are you looking at specific interventions or exposures or tests, for example, looking for research on a particular drug, therapy, surgical procedure, diagnostic test or service delivery? What outcomes are you interested in finding? These could be patient related, for example, mortality, morbidity, complications, patient satisfaction or cost related, for example, cost effectiveness or length of stay. Does the setting matter where the research took place? For example, are you interested in only research that was done in the hospital setting, in a particular department, or in the wider primary care or community setting? Is there a particular study design that would best answer your research question that you could limit your search to? For example, questions that ask about the effectiveness of interventions are best answered in the primary literature with RCTs, randomised controlled trials, and in the secondary literature by systematic reviews or meta-analysis. There are other types of study designs also that may be relevant to your particular question, for example cohort studies, case control studies, case series, case reports or qualitative research. In addition, you might want to consider how far back in the literature you want to search. You may only be interested in the research published in the last five or ten years, or you may wish to look at all the literature published on your topic. Finally, you can limit in most databases to English language only publications. As an example, we're going to put together a search strategy for the following topic. You want to find articles that discuss research on the use of ibuprofen and paracetamol to treat young children with a fever to see which drug is better. The first thing you need to do is think about which keywords you would use to search on and how else are these keywords described, for example, synonyms. Since authors may talk about the same thing but use different terms, for example, heart attack, myocardial infarction, MI, are all different ways of talking about the same thing. And finally, how would you combine the terms together in order for the database to retrieve exactly what it is you are looking for? The first thing to do is to identify the keywords that you want to search on from your topic. In this example, there are four key concepts to search on. Ibuprofen, paracetamol, fever and children. Then you need to think about how else are these terms described in the literature. In other words, what synonyms are there? For example, ibuprofen is also known as neurofen or brufen. Paracetamol may be known as calpol or acetaminophen, and so on. The next step is to start to combine your search terms together using ands and ors. Use or when combining your synonyms together. The more terms you combine with or, the more results you will retrieve and the less likely it will be that you will miss anything in the literature. Use or in this way to combine all the ibuprofen terms together and all the paracetamol terms together, and so on. Use AND to then combine your different concepts together. The more concepts you combine with AND, the smaller the number of results you will retrieve. In this way, you can combine your different concepts together with AND to get studies that look at both ibuprofen and paracetamol and fever and children. Just a word of caution, when searching on multiple outcomes, you would combine them with OR, since although they are not synonyms of each other, they are related in the sense that you want to retrieve papers that look at either of them. So, for example, you may be interested in outcomes that look at cost or length of stay or mortality. Once you've combined your search terms, the next step is to think about which term to search on first. Well, we start with the key concepts that are most well defined. These are usually your interventions, diseases or presentations. Always search on the age groups last, as within the databases, quite often the limits will allow you to restrict to certain age groups. Searching on outcomes can be difficult if the outcomes themselves are not very well defined. It may be useful to search on these last. Always be flexible in your approach to the search. Search on one key concept at a time, for example, search on all your ibuprofen terms together first and then combine them with or. Look at how many results you have. If you have too many, add in a second concept and so on. 
Search on one search term or phrase at a time in order to avoid spelling errors. Continue adding in your key ideas or limits until you reach a number that you're happy with. Some useful tips for searching include your phrase searching. If you use the double quotes around a phrase, it means it will search for a particular phrase rather than for separate words within the titles and abstracts of the record within the databases. The other useful tip is to use truncation. You can use this when you're looking to search on aspects of the same thing that may be singular or plural or variations. So for example, children can often be truncated to child with an asterisk. The asterisk then allows you to pick up those different variants of that same term. So it will pick up children, child and childhood. If you're still not finding what you want, there are a number of things you can do. Firstly, check your spelling to ensure that your terms have been spelt correctly. Check also that your ands and ors are in the right place. Check also for any synonyms that have been missing or any US test spellings or terminology. Include both your singular and plural terminology to widen the search. One other thing you can do is to check the limits you've applied and remove them if they're too strict. The final thing might be that you are in the wrong database and you might want to change database in order to actually broaden your search. Structuring a search in this way by picking out your key terms, thinking about your synonyms and combining them together with OR, then thinking about your different concepts and combining with AND, and then adding in any limits such as language or date, will help you to put a logical and structured search together in order to better your chances of finding exactly what you want.